YouTube. So, when last you saw this little beauty, uh, it wasn't on my channel, it was on Templar Crusade 01, it was on my good buddy Brian's. Um, I'd pretty much just got it assembled. Whacking great base, pinned on, magnetized. So it all comes to pieces so that I can transport it. Warhammer and motorcycles don't mix, especially if you've got to transport uh, an apocalypse size army, but we do what we can with what we've got. So initially, uh, the rules on the Bio Titan say that for uh, things like blast weapons and so on and so forth, if you want to establish whether it's hit or not because of the awkward size, is you draw a point to point from claw to claw to claw to claw, and you take that square as the base. Um, so to make that a bit easier, I've eventually made this hoofing great base. And then it was pointed out to me, uh, again by Brian, that on a hoofing great base, I'm going to be piling models on top of it or moving them out of the way to slide it forward. So um, I have since, which you've seen in some of the other videos being used as the turntable, reduced the base down to that. So uh, put it next to it, you can see. Um, it's uh, a lot smaller. It's just a six inch round, uh, six inch diameter uh, round bit of uh, MDF with a three inch diameter on the top, just to give it a bit of texture, a bit of bit of surface to uh, to play with. But anyway, since you've last seen this guy, uh, he's had a bit more of a paint job. So the actual main body has been uh, completely done. It was uh, originally completely warlock purple and then I've uh, layered up from that with a one-to-one -one mix of warlock and bone, then a very light bone, heavy bone, and then a one-on-one -on -one skull white and bone, just to give it a nice progression up from these cavernous recesses in here up to the ribs. And then uh, Brian suggested, because it did look very, very clean, very, very white, um, so there's a watered-down wash of griffin sapia over the top there. Again, this light I have above me is very bright, so it's probably bleaching that out a little bit. But uh, that's a bit better. Tails also magnetised, completely comes off. Handy, handy thing, these magnets. But uh, again, this is for the big apocalypse game. Our side has uh, three of these wee beasties um, pumping out something ridiculous I think uh, each bio cannon top of my head is assault 8 um, strength 10 I can't remember what the AP is I have a horrible feeling it's not great but top of my head without looking in a book I couldn't give you the exact stats but um, each cannon fires independently so eight shots here eight shots here can be done at two completely separate targets and there's also the uh, lash whip style tendrils that sort of come out of the base there for if he gets into uh, close combat where this guy really does his damage. Um, the other thing about the Bio Titan is it also has fleet. You wouldn't think that something this big would have fleet. So potentially it has a 12 inch move. It can then fleet 2d6. So potentially another 12 inches if you're rolling is very very good. Uh, and it then uh, can assault at the end of that. So this thing is going to hopefully chew its way across the board to uh, the line of Reva Titans along with its two little buddies um, and tie them up so we're not going to suffer quite so many strength D blasts into our griblies. Um, so like I say it's, it's nowhere near finished painting yet. Um, I did have, I admit I have enough time to do it uh, in time for this game, I had more than enough warning um, but it just got to the point uh, where with everything else I had going on I just my heart wasn't in it and I did not want to do um, a rushed half assed job on this beastie because uh, let's face it it's way too pretty to just uh, whack it out for the sake of doing it so uh, body's done tail's done, base has been redone um, most of the flesh is done there that just needs the final highlight of bone and then that wash and then it's the carapace on the legs um, and then the arms so another video will go up when it's all ready and well to go but that's the progress on my um, Hierophant Bio Titan so far and uh, fingers crossed it tears a few um, Reva Imperials apart tomorrow thanks guys uh, speak to you again soon play safe 
and uh, catch you in a little while. Bye.